Welcome to Opalize TV. Today I'm in Vienna together with Gernot Heitzinger. He is the Managing Director of SMN. SMN is registered as a CTA and has also obtained the AFM license. Gernot, please give us background about yourself and about SMN. I joined SMN in 2004. Before that, I started my career 25 years ago in 1990 in the banking sector. So I was an equity trader and then I was equity fund manager. After that, I changed into the pension fund sector where I was a chief investment officer. And in 2004, I joined SMN knowing the founding partners of the company from my former career in the equities and derivatives trading department. The reason why I joined SMN was that I always had a strong belief in quantitative asset management. I was strongly believed that um, predictability of financial markets is limited and I'm sure that you need a lot of discipline. So I was always fascinated by technical systems, technical trend following. So SMN is a purely systematic company we are doing a CTA for, for almost 20 years. The first program started in November 96. It's a fully systematic program, highly diversified, global investment style, and everything we do is totally systematic. In 2012, in addition, we started a purely systematic equity program, and at the moment we are in the latest stage of designing a a systematic fixed income program. So, Gernot, how would you characterize the strength of SMN? How are you different from other CTAs in that space? I think our main strengths are almost 20 years of experience in a field where we really are convinced that it's working. It's purely systematic, quantitative, asset management, system driven. Another strength of ourselves is that we are relatively small compared to our bigger peers, which is a big advantage because we can really have offer high diversification and be a little bit different than people who have to care very much about liquidity and very much about getting in and out of markets without leaving a footprint, which is much more easy in our thing. Which is maybe because we are here from Vienna, which is rather a remote place in the global financial industry. But this is also a benefit, not only because we are small, which is not by intention, <laughs> but also because the people who work with us do not come from the very same school as most of the people in London, in New York coming from. So we are thinking a little bit differently. On the other hand, we are doing things very, very disciplined and very, very systematic, which is a very nice fit in a traditional as well in a CTA portfolio. What we have learned from our investors is that they like our strategy to be a good add-on to their mainstream CTA portfolios because we do some things quite differently but still we offer good crisis alpha as we have shown in 2008. What investors also like about us is that we are accessible so they can really reach the portfolio manager and discuss topics with him and the other fact is that we have a very high level of alignment of interest as well as the owners of the company as well as all the employees are highly invested in the same strategy that we offer to our investors. Gernot, tell us more about your investment philosophy and your beliefs when it comes to investing. Markets in the long run will follow the fundamentals. And this causes trends to last much longer than most people would expect. So nobody would have ever expected the oil price going from about 20 to 150 in a very short period of time or last year dropping from over 100 to 40. 
if you read all about the fundamental forecasts, nobody would have expected that. And that's clearly the strength of trend following. The clear advantage of a systematic manager versus a discretionary manager is that our systems can follow 200 markets at one time. So if they see a trend emerge in the market, they will trade that trend. And for that example, if they saw a trend emerging last year in the oil market, our system was short. Most of the discretionary traders we know were not short in that market. And so it is for a lot of other markets in agriculturals, in commodities, in fixed income, where it is. And we will be on the trade if a trend emerges. We are often asked by some investors about the black box myth that CTAs have. So I'm not very happy about those perceptions because I, I don't see the point actually. Um, a discretionary trader in my view is much more a black box than a very rule-based system where you know if a trend emerges you know what our system will do. So it's rather easy and far from being a black box. A lot of people are afraid of computerized systems but actually it's our 20 years of experience that get into the system and we just saw that you have to avoid all the mistakes that a discretionary trader is doing. What are these mistakes typically? Uh, you're getting greedy if you have had too much of success in the past and you're getting anxious if it was not in your way for the last trades. So we really see that we take buy or sell decisions just on a systematic basis based on a signal. We do have a high diversification at all points. We do have a risk budget for every single position. So risk management is one of the key things to make a system work. And this is the same for a discretionary trader as for a systematic trader. But with us, it's one system that includes risk management and portfolio management. Gernot, how do you see CTAs dealing with or benefiting from the current market environment? I think the current market environment offers a lot of opportunities for CTAs. Given the last years, it was very difficult to justify an investment in a CTA because everything you invested in was performing very well and was rather easy to explain. Going forward, it will be very, very difficult to find the reason why, for example, you could earn a lot of money investing in bonds. The big charm of CTAs is that you can be long, you can be short, you don't need to have rising markets, you don't need to have falling interest rates, which will not be there by all my projections I would make. And therefore, we do have a source of return because we just need market movements, we just need volatility to get returns out of that. And I'm sure that there will be volatility going forward. I understand that at SMN you have developed some very unique and very efficient ways how to deal with risk in the portfolio. So please tell us more about that. We do believe that the main added value in trend following systems does not necessarily come out from the systems or the signals themselves. We do have a strong belief in risk management. So over the last years we have developed or we have put a lot of effort into upgrading our risk management tools and we have come up with some things that our investors keep on telling us are quite unique. So on the one hand we have developed the, a correlation overlay which really tries to get out cluster risks in the portfolio and which has done tremendously well for example during last year's period. And the second thing is a quite unique methodology how to deal with the current risk on, risk off universe. Both of these things have been working for the last five years in the portfolio and have done very, very well so far. Going forward, 
what are your plans? What's the vision for SMN going forward? Regarding our plans for the future, we really want to continue to see all our strength in systematic and medium to long term trend following. So we now have almost 20 years of experience in the CTA. For the last three years, we have an equity strategy, which is purely based on trend following on single stocks. And we are about to launch a fixed income strategy, which with much lower volatility, purely concentrating on trends in the fixed income markets. With regards to the CTA, we want to go more into even more into the route that we benefit from our high level of diversification and rather trade 300, maybe at one point in time, 400 markets and even add to that diversification. Fortunately, given our size, we don't have a lot of constraints with regards to liquidity of those markets, but we really want to add on that benefit and be a good diversifier even for a CTA portfolio. On the equity side, I think we have done a proper job. We need to give it a little bit more time and not have just one bull market in the equity space, but we, we do have some ideas how to expand that. And on the fixed income side, I think markets will help by itself to really make that a success as well. So tell us more about the investor base of SMN. Our investor base is mainly European institutions, insurance companies, pension funds, Austria, Switzerland, Germany. Most of our clients, or a lot of our clients are here for 10 or more years with our company. Some of them has, have helped us in setting up new products, giving us new product ideas. For example, our equity product was designed in close cooperation with one pension fund. In the last years we have increasing have we have seen increasingly interest from overseas, from the US, from Asia, from other family offices, and we are very excited about such possibilities to expand our business.